What's up, guys, and welcome to Do More Life. If you've never been here before, this is a channel that talks about basically life, living, traveling, and education on how to do that. So today's topic is how to fail at retirement in Thailand. And no, I'm not old enough to retire, but I have a lot of friends here who are. I'm going to give you the answer to that question, how to fail at retiring in Thailand, in just a moment. So here we go. Number one, the first thing that you can do to fail as a retiree here in Thailand is not have any kind of savings. You don't have any type of uh, emergency money or uh, money that you can get your hands on should a crisis uh, come about. That is the number one reason that I see retirees fail uh, here in Thailand is simply because they just don't have their finances in order. Um, and without having your finances in order, it's extraordinarily difficult uh, to retire here. I, I have to say it is very difficult to retire here that way. I've seen many of my friends uh, go through this. Now, the second way to not have uh a successful retirement in Thailand is to not have any investments that yield you some type of income or at least at the very least yield you some type of uh, growth on some type of interest making account uh, so that you are getting or gaining more money should you need it. A lot of retirement comes down to money guys it comes down to money because uh, there are certain financial obligations you must meet in order to retire here in the Kingdom of Thailand. And uh, some of those are kind of kind of steep, depending on what your background is and how much money you're used to spending um, and that kind of thing. So you have to be really, really cautious when it comes to your finances and um how much money you actually need to li uh, live here in Thailand. Um, I have a video that was shot by a friend of mine uh, named Ross. The video is actually on this channel, and I'll try to put it up here if I can remember, um, but it's called The Exact Amount of Money You Need to Retire in Thailand. It's basically a formula that you can work off of to see your own uh, individual expenses and expenditures and you can kind of set your formula up to whatever you want it to be. Um, the third reason that I see retirees failing here in Thailand is just a overall lack of planning. An overall lack of planning. Uh, they didn't plan for the visa. They didn't plan to put the 800 or the 400,000 uh, bot in a Thai bank account. Um, they didn't plan on looking at visa options to see uh, if maybe there was a cheaper route to go. They didn't look at where they were going to be living or what their cost of living was going to be. And the biggest one is people actually do this. They will come to Thailand, you know, in their 40s and decide in their early 40s and decide that they are going to, going to live here, uh, live somewhere uh, in Thailand in their 50s when they retire and they don't come back between their 40s and 50s so given a 10 or 7 or 12 year gap a lot changes in this country and so do the places that you've been to so not visiting before you retire like a year before you retire and spending a month or two in the spot that you want to retire in in my opinion is a grave mistake um, it will likely lead you to uh, rethink your place, your location. It probably won't uh, make you completely leave Thailand, but it may. Um, we have recently seen a lot of t retirees leaving simply because of the bot being so strong. You know, it's so strong now that um, I think Americans are only getting about 29 baht to the dollar, 20, maybe 30 on some good days. Um, the British pound and euro have taken a grave hit. 
Um, and these are things that you have to account for in your retirement in Thailand. Um, you have to account for the fact that the if you're getting any kind of money for uh, the Thai bot over here, uh, you have to count on how strong it's going to be. Then you have to plan your pension or your savings or your Social Security or whatever it may be. You have to plan on the bot getting stronger just in case it does. So your dollar will be worth less money over here in Thailand. Um, overall, this is just a general suggestive um, video and this is something that I have seen with my personal um, my own two eyes I've seen people leave because they get over here and they get in a financial hole and they can't get out and it's very very hard to get out of a financial hole over here in Thailand unless you're working and even if you're working the salaries are not going to be that great depending on what kind of job um, you want to do the jobs typically that most people do when they come over here are jobs like uh, teaching or they have a special interest in some type of related corporate field or finance field or technological field, something like that. Um, so you may be able to make a little bit of money there, but making uh, enough money for it to be life-changing and to save your retirement um, is pretty big I, I would say also you need to understand the retirement visas you need to understand the non o and you need to understand the non oa and you need to understand what those visas actually mean uh in terms of make making border bounces uh or you're going to be here for a long-term stay um and just do a 90-day check-in that kind of thing because the visa process over here has gotten more complicated um, I'm not saying it's worse or it's, you know, something that is bad. It's just gotten more complicated. And these are things that you have to take into consideration when you are planning your retirement in Thailand. So, with that being said, I'll leave it at that, guys. If you have questions, comments, concerns, if I was wrong about anything, by all means, please put that uh, in the comment section below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Whatever you do today, be sure you do more life. See ya.